For these 45 minutes feature the U.S. Congress, here Mitsi TV 8 caught up with a whole host of congressmen to get a sense of what they felt about the Indo-U.S. relationship and more importantly, the areas in which the two superpowers could actually cooperate. Listen in. We need to sit down and those of us who are enthusiasts for greater engagement can explain the mutual benefit of trade liberalization. So the concept of the Prime Minister, I took a delegation to India last year to meet with, with the Prime Minister uh, on, on this subject and other subjects. And one of the things he said is that I'm working to change the red tape to a concept of the red carpet. And the red carpet approach is to encourage direct investment in and to encourage more trade and more businesses to, to come. The military importance of uh, India's partnership with the United States. Uh, India, uh, world's largest democracy, it's a reliable ally to the United States. My opinion as chairman of the terrorism subcommittee is that the United States should pivot away from maybe Pakistan and pivot straight to India because they're reliable. Pakistan is not. We ought to quit selling them military hardware. We ought to focus on India because India is not going to betray us. The Prime Minister signaled that India is going to be a major player in the region, creating stability, a major player addressing climate change, and a major partner with the United States built on our values of freedom, equality, justice. I think regardless of who takes the White House, there is a commitment uh, amongst both Democrats and Republicans in Congress to continue to maximize this potential, to continue to strengthen this relationship between the United States and India. Um, I don't hear from any of my colleagues any hesitation um, in maximizing that relationship. Uh, quite the contrary. People are becoming more and more interested as they learn more about the opportunity that lies within India. Uh, and within that strength and friendship and partnership.